Hey, what's up everybody? Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel and I am excited. You know why? Because I got out of work early and I'm going fishing. Yeah, the PWR 129's down there waiting on us. And it just started storming and we don't care because we're going fishing. Y'all, I've only got a few more opportunities. Sorry, I'm just making sure I got everything. A few more opportunities to get some upgrades for my monthly online where I'm currently sitting in like sixth. But all my fish on the board, this guy's angry. What'd I do with my car key? Pause button. I gotta figure out where I put the key fob. Did I put it in here? I literally just had it. Oh, there it is, it's on the dash where I looked for it the first time. So anyway, my opportunities to fish are getting limited and all my fish that are currently on the board are all from the first day of the month. And today's the 25th. So we're gonna go see about some upgrades. I'm at one of my favorite lakes right now. And even with the storm, it's we're in a cool down moment from the last couple days of just brutal heat. And I think we're gonna find them. So let's go! I forgot a strap. That's okay. Just throw that down there. Let's go ahead and put the hat on. Lucky hat. It's also going to help keep my face dry. I did not pack the rain gear. One, because I just got it dried out from Mazingo and I didn't want to. And two, it's been so dang on hot, I knew I wouldn't wear it. Or at least wouldn't want to wear it. So for the couple hours I have to fish, because it's already like... I don't know, 4.30 or so. So for the couple hours I probably have to fish, I'd rather just be wet. Whew, we're getting good and wet already. Oh, it's really gonna start raining now. The big man upstairs said, oh, you didn't bring the rain gear? <laughs> That's awesome. Y'all, normally when it's storming like this, I would go right to the chatterbait. But I have a brand new plastic I made like two nights ago in the Penguin Lab for Texas rigs specifically. And I really think it might be a winner. And I think even in this, it could very well be a winner. Thencos are green pumpkin and green chart on the tail. And there is no fleck or anything in them. They are straight color. They are dark and they are bright. I am gonna have to change out of my sunglasses though if uh, the rain sticks around too long. One of my favorite thing about making my own baits is there's no salt, so they're way tougher. Or bury the hook there. Look at that. That is a beautiful looking bait right there. Who knows, it might not even work, but guess what? These are two colors bass really like. I'm using a lighter weight, so I'm not gonna start flipping right away. I'm not used to the lighter weight. Let's uh, get a couple casts going here, see how it goes. Oh, there we go. Oh, stupid slack. Or Man, I checked my drag before I threw it out there. I thought it was plenty tight enough, but it was not. Missed opportunity. But I really want to start up shallow. There we go. What the hell? 
Y'all, I apologize. I am not graceful today. So, oh, an eagle, an eagle. It's a bald eagle. Man, I hope the camera got it flying out over the dam there. That was cool. I busted up over there. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's all just me. Maybe the camera's not on and YouTube's not even real and I'm just out here talking to myself. I'm going to give you a chance to take it because I don't know if you're something small or not. There we go. Drag's still a little loose. Let's uh, sit down here. Oh, I forgot to unlash the net again. Oh. See guys, this is my struggle with the, with the double header, man. I forget to unlash it. I lose fish. I don't lash it. I lose nets. This is the little stuff I'm talking about, like these little adjustments. It's just, it adds up. And is that a game changing fish? No, probably not. But like, you don't want to lose it. My God finally get one on oh it's just frustrating like i can deal with popping one little latch i guess i don't know and like i could put it in a rod holder behind me but i'm carrying six rods today well you know what i do have the rod holder storage along the seat maybe i need to put one in along the seat and just put the rod or the net in a rod holder i don't know all right, so I've been talking the whole time, but I've been mumbling to myself a lot is what I've been doing. And I don't know how much of it will actually make it into like the edit. So the first two fish, I missed totally. Whether it was impatience, whether it just wasn't right, that slack line I got off the drag. My God, that's a problem this year. Um, the third one I had on, but the uh, double header, those bungees there, we're still lashed from transport so the net was stuck because they're just not used to like using it's just such a different setup you just got to get used to everything and it's it's frustrating which is part of the process it's nothing the kayak or the setup is doing wrong it, it's my thinking and what i'm used to in my muscle memory it's all just got to be retrained but so i missed that fish because i couldn't get the net <laughs> um it wasn't a great fish but it was a fish my phone's ringing. Stand by. So anyway, long story short, <laughs> I'm going to go over here to a spot that I've traditionally done very well at, have caught some of my biggest fish at, um, and see if I can't do a little catch up to Adam. What's up, Adam? Matter of fact, Adam, finally, I call him Slim Denny. So if you've heard me say Slim Denny in my videos, I'm talking about Adam. And Slim Denny is something Noah Witten came up with, and it's hilarious, and I can't let it go. But anyway, Adam finally started his YouTube channel. So when I'm editing this, as long as I don't miss this part and forget, I will put a link to Adam's channel down below. The dude's a straight hammer. So definitely go check out Adam's channel. Check out Slim Denny. I wanted him to call it Slim Denny Fishing. I think it's a missed opportunity, but I can't, uh, I honestly can't remember what the channel is called. Excuse me. And uh, if I did remember this part, I'll put it on the screen. But we're going to go up here. With the point that I was making, I'm all over the place today because I worked all day. And normally when I'm with you guys, it's like I wake up in the morning. This is all I'm doing. So I'm a little all over the place. But Adam is currently leading first place with like, I think, 99 something inches, like almost 100. He's probably going to crack 100. He's, he's the dude's a hammer. He's good. Um, and I'm in like sixth because I haven't done anything for 24 days. <laughs> like I fished, um, I skunked at Moz, I skunked at uh, another lake, but um, most of the fishing that I have done this month has not been on MDC managed waters and that's what you gotta be on for the tournament. So uh, we're hoping to play some catch up. We're gonna try and catch Adam. I have pulled some nice fish out of this spot over here. I'm gonna try and do it again. How's the wind gonna blow me? Let's think about this here. It's gonna be, I'm not gonna be spot locked the way that I want. 
And here when I turn around, you're gonna see a contrast between this view and what you're about to see. <laughs> I'm not gonna be spot locked exactly how I want, but I'm gonna be spot locked the way that I'm kinda used to when I fish this spot. Get ready for the view change. A little bit of a contrast as we turn here. <laughs> that's, that's wild, I love that. That wind's picking up too. Of course it is. So, uh, we want to start with chatter or crank? I think we're going to crank. And you know what cranking means at Penguin Outdoors? It means the Berkeley Money Badger, that's right. You haven't seen this thing this year. Not with a fish in its mouth, anyway. It's a little light for this wind, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. There we go. First cast. First cast. I'm trying to get the net. Oh, it's just a little guy. My net game's a little whack this year. Just a little guy, but <laughs> proof of concept with the crankbait right there. All right, let me grab you without getting the crankbait in my finger. And you know what I just realized? I don't have pliers with me. That's unfortunate. Look at that guy's not an upgrade, but first fish of the day, we're not skunked. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. Can't believe I forgot pliers. That could be a problem. Oh, there we go. That's a good hit. That's a real good hit. Come on, I want you to come around here. That's a good fish. Come around here. Gotcha. You looked bigger in the water, but I'll take you. Weather is escalating. Um, so I caught that, I caught it in the net um, on that Senko, that uh, green pumpkin with the green chart tail, and uh, my camera died. <laughs> like it obviously didn't overheat because I'm getting chilly, but the camera cut out. Um, I got it back in the water and here we are. So it was 17 and a half, and my two smallest fish were both 16 and a quarter. So it's definitely an upgrade and uh, let's get uh, back out there. I don't know how much you can tell from the video, but uh, I don't know how much more time we'll get just because the storm's persisting and we'll run out of light eventually. So I'm gonna move up, back up to that dam and spend whatever little amount of time I have left on that dam and then uh, we'll just call that one upgrade if we have to and we'll get out of here. So let's get up to the dam. All right, we'll call it. Oh yeah, time to call it. <laughs> We're calling it a few minutes too late. That's okay, we'll call it. Be a wet drive home, but it's a short drive home. Let's go.
Well, time to call it. <laughs> it is getting gross. So, all right, let's go to the ramp. I went to the danger zone. It just looks so nice over there. <laughs> But yeah, with the wind and everything else, it's uh, it's time to go. It's getting dark anyway. It's darker than it looks on camera. Make no mistake, boys and girls. I love this shit. <laughs> Woo! If you're wondering, all I'm wearing is Crocs and boxers. And my back is like a buttered up slip and slide on my seat, which is just gross for all kinds of reasons. But hey, we caught a fish, we got an upgrade. Uh, there's a little bit of a struggle bus out there, gross. Um, but hey, got a couple hours of fishing in. Maybe we'll try and do it again tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button. Definitely subscribe. I mean, come on, I've earned it. I mean, if nothing else, don't you want to be a subscriber to the YouTube of the guy who drives down the road in Crocs and boxers? Of course you do. So hit the subscribe button. And until then, we'll see you next time. Tight lines.